Today on Acupuncture Masterclass, the secret location method for large intestine 11 every acupuncture student should know about. Let's take a look. If you're early on in your acupuncture education, you've likely realized that there are often multiple ways to find a single acupuncture point. Some methods I consider accurate, other methods not so much. Check out my You're Finding This Point All Wrong videos to make sure you're not committing some of these point location mishaps. As for large intestine 11, there are two very solid location techniques for this popular heat clearing point. The first method you're likely very familiar with, and it's a nice simple one. The vast majority of students are instructed to locate large intestine 11 at the lateral end of the cubital crease when the arm is fully flexed. It doesn't get much easier than that. But the second method of locating large intestine 11 can come in super handy, particularly if you already have some needles in the hand or arm of your patient, which is preventing you from being able to flex your patient's arm safely without risking unnecessary discomfort. If you haven't heard me say it already, manipulating your client's body like a rag doll when they already have needles inserted is a big no-no according to me. Not only can it be uncomfortable for your patients, you risk a bent needle situation, which can make it very painful when removing the needle, not what you want to do. The second method involves some basic anatomical landmarking and the use of an adjacent acupuncture point. While the arm is slightly bent and in a relaxed position, simply locate the lateral epicondyle. Then the acupuncture point lung five located on the cubital crease just lateral to the bicep tendon. Once you have these two anatomical landmarks, large intestine 11 is simply midway through these points. No need to flex your partner's arm, no discomfort from needles that are already inserted, and more importantly, you look a little more professional when you don't need to move your patient's body all around to find an acupuncture point. Try using this method for locating large intestine 11 and let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, if you want to do a deep dive into acupuncture point selection, take my acupuncture point selection mastery online course. The link is in the description below and at acupuncturemasterclass.com. Thanks again for joining me and looking forward to seeing you again soon.